Rare shared some details on Sea of Thieves September update. Reapers Bones. The update will finally add pets to the game after multiple delays. Another important addition this update will bring is the Pirate Emporium, the game's microtransaction store. Players can also expect to get their pets from the Emporium. Rare also said that aside from pets and the Pirate Emporium, players can expect a lot more from the September update, as this is the most substantial out of all the monthly updates released. EA and Respawn are in hot water after revealing the Iron Crown event in Apex Legends. The event comes with new challenges, a solo mode, a new area, and a set of new skins. One of those new skins is Raven's Bite, and players have to first complete the Iron Crown set and then purchase the skin for 3,500 coins. Reports say this could cost the players $170 in real money, and as expected, most the players are not happy with it. EA and Respawn are yet to comment on this. Microsoft will be hosting another Inside Xbox livestream on August 19th in Cologne, Germany. The venue for this year's Gamescom, during the livestream, Microsoft will be revealing more about Gears of 5 and Ghost Recon Breakpoint. Viewers will be able to get a first look at Ghost Recon Breakpoint's multiplayer and more details about Gears of 5. This stream will also feature Destiny 2's upcoming Shadowkeep expansion, Gears of 4 Horde mode, and a lot more. Moss Mouth has announced the Spelunky 2's release has been delayed. Moss Mouth's direct you took to Twitter to announce the unfortunate news saying, Hey Spelunky fans, unfortunately, I don't think we're going to get to release Spelunky 2 this year. Development is still going well and we're not far off target. But the density and detail of the game is demanding more time. Thank you for your patience. The developers are yet to announce a new release date for the game. Get ready to sing your hearts out as Revan Scourt and Vaxler announced the release date of Let's Sing 2020. The game will be available starting October 25th on PlayStation 4 and Nintendo Switch. Let's Sing 2020 boasts of a strong playlist with 30 international hits and original music videos, including Queen's The Show Must Go On and Calvin Harris and Dua Lipa's One Kiss. It can support solo or up to four players. It also comes with an online leaderboard for the competitive singers out there.
Borderlands ZOTY is having a free play weekend on the PlayStation 4, and it will be available from August 16, 1201 AM PDT BST until August 18, 1159 PM PDT or BST. Borderlands ZOTY is the remake of the original Borderlands a game with features like 4K ready graphics and local 4 player support, among the others. It also includes all the previously released DLC for the original game, and players who will participate in the free weekend will also get free bonus points which they can spend in Borderlands 3. Adventure game Genesis Noir is also coming to Xbox One. Fellow traveler and feral cat Dan announced the game was the first announced for PC and is scheduled for release sometime in 2020. Genesis Noir is an exploration game set before, during, and after the Big Bang, and players will take the role of the protagonist No Man. He is a peddler, but he finds himself caught up in the lust and crime. Players will be interacting with the game's world as to explore it, save their love, and stop the expansion of the universe. The second DLC character for Mortal Kombat 11 is available now, and it is Night Wolf. He was playable in 2011's Mortal Kombat, and now players who own the Combat Pass will soon be able to play him in Mortal Kombat 11. Night Wolf made his debut in Mortal Kombat 3 back in 1995. He's coming with his classic attacks including his spirit bow, fast tackle, and projectile aura. In addition to that wolf, combat pass owners will also get a bonus costume for Sonya Blade. After six years in development, Spry Fox is happy to announce that its spiritual successor to Realm of the Mad God is finally set for release. Steambird's Alliance will finally be launching August 22nd and will be available on Steam after its open beta phase. Steambird's Alliance will feature new content and tones of improvements from the open beta. It has a new extreme difficulty mode for veterans, danger modes, new enemy types, tones of rebalancing, and a lot more. L.A. Noir, the VR case of Fals, has received a PG rating for the PlayStation 4. The game first released on Steam back in 2017. As with its PC version, the game got a PG-18 rating on the PlayStation 4 for violence and bad language. The release date shown on the ratings page was August 12, but it was obviously a placeholder. The page has since been taken down. But a screenshot of it has been circulating at a recent era. We will wait for an official word from Sony on whether they are actually releasing the game on their console or not.
Overwatch has received its latest update, and it adds the new playable hero, Sigma. He was the first introduced in the PTR and now players on PC, PS4, and Xbox One can finally play as the new tank. Sigma is an astrophysicist who can manipulate gravity. He can launch gravity charges and use his kinetic grasp ability to freeze projectiles and turn them into shields. His ultimate is called Gravity Flux, which lifts enemies and slums them back down. Here is a quick overview of today's best deals on allkeyshop.com. You've just got a few more hours to play Gen LG for free. So hurry and download it now while the offer lasts. We've also got the biggest surprise drops on Emily wants to play too, Planet Alpha and Citizens of Space. If you are also looking for the best discount, Hitman from 2016 is your best bet. Head on over to our daily deals page now and check out all the best deals for today. Forza Motorsport 6 is now available as a free game for a limited amount of the time on the Xbox game with gold. However, another option is also available where you can get all the expansions and scars available for the game on a very good discount. So the Forza Motorsport 6 Complete Add-ons collection usually sells at $99.99 USD dollar and it's now selling for only 4.99 USD dollar. Remember that this is only a limited time deal. So if you're interested, you should hurry up and make your portraits right now. Epic Games is apologizing for releasing an in-game modem that looks similar to a Battle Pass item. Fortnite promised that the Battle Pass items will not be for sale as an in-game item without use of a VBEX. The item in question is that the Gunner Pet Dog, which looks very similar to a Season 6 Battle Pass name, Bonesy. So because of the complaints, Epic was forced to apologize as well as issue refunds for those purchased Gunner. The refund will also include the 200 V-Bucks in a token. Dying Light 2 will be at the Gamescom Expo this year in Cologne, Germany. Techland has announced that they will be showing off an extended gameplay reveal, which was previously shown to a closed-door audience. The demo is about 30 minutes long and it will also be streamed online. The date for this is on Monday, August 26 at 11 a.m. PD or 7 p.m. BST. So Teclon promises that this will be the largest piece of a Dying Light 2 gameplay released to date. Dying Light 2 is set to launch sometime early 2020.
The multiplayer trailer of Doom Eternal has been shared and it features a 2 versus 1 battle mode. This mode will offer two players controlling two demons and one human slayer that is heavily armed. The video introduces three of the five demons that will be available when the game launches as well as a quick tour around the game's mob. So the mode looks very busy and different as there will also be a lot of applying happening in the game. Doom Eternal will be launching by November this year. In a recent Destiny 2 livestream, the armor customization changes that were shared. This is part of the Shadowkeep expansion that there uh that will be available on October 1st. And the developers that the bond jigsaw that the changes made are actually for players to build a better monster killing machine. One change is that the armor pieces now carry strength, intelligence, and discipline stats, but their silence, recovery, and mobility stats will remain. The new stats unpack the melee, super, and grenade recovery time. A look at the remake of Medieval has been shared. This featured the process as well as some new gameplay. Some members of the other Ocean Interactive said that their approach for the remake was to focus less on making a one-to-one -one remake for the PS4 but instead make it that a player on the original PS1 would remember it. The visuals look very solid and up to date but it still comes with the vibe and a feel of the original version of the PS1. So Medieval will be launching on October 25th for the PS4. A formal announcement has been shared for the upcoming Need for Speed hit by EA and Ghost Games. Hit will bring players to the fictional Palm City, which is like Miami, and there are so much fast cars as well as cops. The trailer has a lot of a narrative in it as well as some gameplay, and the developers said that the game will focus on expressive customization, authentic urban car culture, and an immersive narrative that pulls you into the game. Need for Speed Heat will be launching on November 8th of this year. The Beyond update for No Man's Sky had been launched by Hello Games. The update is said to address the stuttering issue of the game, as well as the crashes and more, and some life-ending bugs. And this update comes also with the game's VR support, as well as the expanded multiplayer. And in order to get the update, you actually must be on the No Man's Sky experimental branch. You can do this by going to Steam and hit on to the beta, then click on the experimental box. And the size is roughly about 50 MV only.
The top prong system of Dota Underlords will soon be changing as the game will now focus on the skill of the player rather than the time played. So previously, once a player reaches the Spire rung, you will be seen in the game's leaderboards. And from there, it will be a linear progression of the points that you earn from playing a lot of the matches. So with the next update, the Lords of the Spire will either win or lose points depending on the skill of the people that they're playing against. The release date of the Rainbow Six Edge, the Emperor Ross, is nearing with a full reveal of Adidas due during the sixth major relay of 2019. So the two upcoming operators are from South America and one from the Heko is Goya and the other one is from Peru named Amaru. They are rumored to be carrying a grapple gun as well as exclusive shield and there will also be a rework of the canal mob. The possible release date of the game is set to be on September 10, 2019 and it will be available for PC, PS4, and the Xbox One. Invader Studios announced that the launch date of their game, a Daymare 1998, which will be in September 7th, so the game is in Spore by Resident Evil. And right now, a 3D mode of the game is available and it can be downloaded on Steam. So the game offers a multi-character point of view gameplay, letting you discover the game's story through different angles, offering a realistic HD as well as a mind-bending environmental puzzles. The game also offers classic mechanics having limited ammo and save points. For today's recap of our daily deals on allkeyshop.com. For the next two weeks, Meet on Tier Zero to add in is free, and so are the other games. And today we've got the biggest bars dropped for Titanfall 2, Madden NFL 20, Barrow Trauma, and a Pro Cycle Manager 2019. You'll also get a bus discount today for the event with the evil within tier and all those and a lot more are available in our daily deals page so go check them out while they last